So today I'm just going to give an overview of what I've been doing with Windows Autopilot Hybrid Azure AD uh, using VPN support. So what I've done here is I've actually created a group which is called And in here, I've added the members here for testing purposes. So once a VM, once um, a Dell attitude, five, three, ten. And next, I'm going to add in a hybrid, um, an Azure, actually an Azure AD device, which is going to be 9TWP. And select. So then if we go to devices, just going to go straight to auto enrollment um, and roll devices and so originally this device was um, autopilot via Azure AD so under devices type in serial number which is 9TWP and if I click on it you'll see that's a default autopilot um, profile Azure AD join so that will eventually change so I'll leave this tab here for the time being so next I'm just going to go and show you the rest of the stuff that was implemented for this testing. So if I navigate here, I'll go to enroll devices. So what I've done here is that I've enabled um, enrollment status page. So by default it's actually turned off, but I've actually created a pilot which is ESP, hybrid Azure AD join over VPN. So with this profile, um, I've actually enabled to show app progress, so that's yes. There's 120 minutes um, timeout if it goes any longer. Um, obviously, you can collect, collect logs as, as well. You can show the AB page um, for provision by our Boston Spoon, so I said no for this one. Um, I've, blocked, I've selected blocked um, device use until all apps and profiles are installed. And I've actually added this application to the Cisco Antichronic Start Build for login. So that's an, an actual application, which I'll show you here as well. And you can see here that's actually targeting um, the pilot or, or the pilot um, or pilot hybrid Azure AD group. So under apps, if I go all apps, and if I go to Cisco, and you can see that I've ha I do have a couple of them. So this is the main one that was deployed originally. Um, for this one, I've actually created this. So it's just getting to start before login. So this is pretty much, um, so if I go to properties, you'll see that it's actually the daisy chain. So that means it depends these. Um, so it will install. So once this installs for us on the um, autopilot device during, during ESP, so up here, um, it will all install the uh, diagnostics and reporting tool also known as Dart, and the other one is just going to create a VPN client. So that will get installed as well, and as you can see, it's actually targeting the um, Azure AD group. So once that's done, so you can tell what's there, and if we go back here, you can see that's still default autopilot profile Azure AD join. So I'll, I'll go show why that's the case. So if I go to devices again, and if I go straight to and roll devices, you'll see the deployment profile is showing up. So I've created a new, a brand new um, deployment profile, which will provision the user, uh, provision, sorry, provision the device. So right here, um, default autopilot profile, hybrid Azure AD join over VPN. So that's yes. And if I go properties, you'll see that it's user driven, it's hybrid Azure AD. Um, joined. This is a new uh, feature that was released by Microsoft. So skip AD connected check. That means it, um, if it can't reach the domain or the DC um, during the enrollment, um, it will skip it, which is great. So language region of that is default. Uh, on the configure keyboard, yes. So um, this is done by the end user. I've actually hidden this. The privacy, the privacy settings as well as the um, account settings. Um, so as an administrator, and I've got um, white glow, uh, white glow for enable as well. The autopilot um, device name is set to no, but I do have something else that's in place. So this was this will um, be targeted to that device specifically. Um, so if I go back to this device here, and you can see that's still there. But if I click refresh, 
and I'll click on this again. It should pick up eventually, so we'll come back again to it there. Um, so what happens with this one is um, I do have an enrollment profile. So if I go devices again, tab. And if I go to configuration profiles and in the search for a type of domain, I have a global OSD uh, domain join. So this is ideally what happens with a hybrid Azure AD. Um, obviously, you can see that it's not applicable because um, these, most, most devices are already on prem, anyways. So, with the properties, it's going to show you that it's actually so the computer name will be host name will be um, the starting name will be autobot dash um, whatever the last three numbers of the actual computer is. Domain's name is also local. It will target this OU, the autopilot DC, and it's targeted to all devices. So, obviously, once that was done, uh, once that actually gets done during ROM, it will actually create a profile sitting here. So if I go here and if I change the domain to local and if I expand this, there's a demo on the part. So the most recent one that I had today or last night was actually actually um so autopilots UNGO. So if we find UNGO, which was this one that was done last night. So this one was actually done last night, um, which I kicked it off at home for spray. And it did autopilot, um, autopilot hybrid Azure AD join over VPN, which is great. So let's do that. So if I copy that, and if I copy that device over, so you can see right there, that's what that was. So if I go back to devices, tab. Like devices, so originally the originally uh, once a, once a device is autopilot, um, it will be into join, uh, and then eventually once it gets as the same agent, it will be autopilot join. Um, so home management join. Sorry, so autopilot here, and you can tell that it has a config as well because that's the original one, and that's been frame managed, and it was frame managed by myself today. Um, actually last night, but yes. Um, so if you want to check the user experience, obviously you can, you can see that's a Dell uh, Lab 2 by 3 um, 10. It's got Mesh app, so we'll see what apps have been stored. And I'll do the same thing. So obviously this failed, obviously, but don't worry about that. So it says a test machine, um, user experience. So this is um, the, re the remediation that I put in place uh, via input. Recovery keys, so it's all it's obviously done the bit locker key. So you've got one in there, you've got the bit locker key that's actually based in Azure as well as the one in um, on prem. So it's got the whole lot, so it's pretty good. So let's go back to this device and see if there's any difference. Just gonna refresh, click on that, and now you can see that signing default autopilot profile hybrid Azure AV joint over VPN. So once once this is updated, and you can tell see the status is actually updating. So once that's done, um, I'll kick off the second video for um, doing a, a system reset, and we'll and then a followed by the third video, um, just to cover off how I get it connected to a VPN. Thank you.